Sometimes on your Squarespace website, you just want some text to really pop. You want it to stand out. And that's what text effects allow us to do. And there's, I think, 12 different text effects that we can apply to text in various places across our site. And this video aims to show you all of them and how to use them in the correct way as efficiently as possible. So let's hop on over and we'll see all of them in action. So let's add our text effect to this word here. So gamer, what you want to do first off is go onto your dashboard, click edit, and that's going to take us into the page editor itself. Then you want to find the text that you want to change. So in this instant, it's going to be gamer. So we highlight this and then you're going to click this icon here. So it looks like a scribble under an A. So you click that, it's going to give us by default an underline. Now what we want to do is click on this drop down and we've got 12 options here. So we can have a bit more of a scribbled underline, double underline, highlight. Obviously you change the color of that little wiggly line, circle, don't know what that would be, <laughs> two scribbly lines, big scribbly line, wavy, <laughs> I'm just coming up with stupid words for it, cross out, uh, one, cross out, and just strike through, and then you can bring that to the front, as you can with all of them, so in this case, what I'm going to do is just add a circle around this here, then we have an option to change the colour, as I've just shown, so you've got white, you can go from your palette, or you can go custom, like so. And if you go down here, you can also change the opacity. Same with the palette, you can change the opacity of that here. I'm just going to go with blue, and we'll keep the op opacity full. Then you can change the thickness, so you can make it super thick, or you can bring it all the way down, and make it super thin. And then the end caps, it's called, you can make that square or rounded, so that is just... If you see here, that is rounded, and if we square it, it gets squared off, nice and simple. Then you can bring it to the front if you wish, or you can send it to the back. So that basically just means, does it overlay the text? I don't think we get a good representation here, uh, because it doesn't cross over anything. Maybe it crosses over there, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you can see. So that is behind, and then if I just change it now, let me zoom back out. If I just change that and bring it to the front, you can see it goes over the R. I'll just quickly go back in there and I'll show you the last one, which is the animation. So animation just means it gets drawn in. So if I click this, you can see it gets drawn in or it just fades in. Uh, and then this one's fade and scale. And then you can just change the duration. So how long that actually takes to animate. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. I think the draw type works well as sort of a slow duration and then direction just changes the way that it animates in. So that is that. I think that's a pretty comprehensive walkthrough of animating your text or adding animations to your text on Squarespace. Once you're happy with what it looks like, you can just hit save and exit and there we go, it's in. So hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.